Hi everybody, my name's Jackie and I'm a senior at Florida International University, which is located in Miami. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about starting college and what to expect and how to make your time in college and university a little bit easier. Sorry about my son in the background. I actually juggle working my business from home, taking care of my kids, and graduating at the same time. So <laughs> if anybody should know how to make college life a little bit easier, it should be me. <laughs> it's actually been pretty difficult for me just because trying to juggle taking care of my kids, making sure they're happy, studying as much as I can possibly study, and trying to maintain my business has been hard just because, you know, I don't have time for much else. And I just have to try to figure out how to manage my time better. But I'm done now with school this semester, so I won't have to spend all my time studying. <laughs> I can spend it with my kids. So um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experiences. Um, so starting college was like walking into a brick wall for me. None of my family um, went to college, got a degree, or any of that. I had no idea how to do anything, how to learn things along, and I had to learn things along the way, um, like signing up for classes, um, making appointments to see counselors. I would just walk into the counselor's office and they'd say, no, I'm sorry, you have to come back when they allow you to come back. <laughs> I didn't understand that. I just wanted to go see somebody and ask a question. But no, I actually had to wait <laughs> and make an appointment. Um, things I wish I would have known today um, about co my college experience is what I'm going to talk about with you today. Um, and these few suggestions, um, I guarantee will make your college experience a positive and a more rewarding experience. Um, first of all, number one, your bachelor degree in most cases is just a bridge to your career. You may be just going off into a master's degree and your bachelor's may have nothing to do with your master's degree. Or you may get your bachelor's and your career path will just automatically go somewhere else that you wouldn't expect it to go to. So like I was saying, your bachelor's is a bridge to your career. You're going to use it to decide on your path. You're going to, you may even use it on a totally different path. Um, I wish I would have known this when I had first started. It may have changed which path I would have taken. <laughs> um, also, making friends with students are, 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 that are in their second, third, or fourth year is so important because they can help you and show you where to go, give you advice, and even help with getting books cheaper and um, so many different things. How to get to classes, how to get to um, the library, where, where to find things in your four-story library. That was very hard for me because it was so many different sections. Um, they can also give you advice in finding teachers that are more helpful and also help you with choosing classes that you may need. Um, researching your classes online before you choose them, that is so important. After my second year, that's all I did for every single class because there are going to be some teachers that is not going to fit your learning style and you need to avoid those teachers and try to make your life a little bit easier. And I promise you, by using website like ratemyprofessor.com, you can go on there and view those teachers and what they require and um, the books that they may need or the books they that you won't need. And that will make your life much easier and it'll save you some money as well. Um, also, Study, 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 study. This is not high school where you can just scrape on by and not study. You have to study. You must study. Um, I was told once that you need to treat your full-time college life in classes as a full-time job. That means spending 40 hours per week studying and doing homework. I didn't do that until my junior year 
now I probably study six hours a day for one class. And that's because it's a hard class. <laughs> but I'm almost done. So I'm just inching my way by. <laughs> um, also, um, staying positive. You may have a lot of things going on in life that are getting you down or not helping you along your way. You may not have people that are supporting your path, but you need to stay positive. Um, just by staying positive and being optimistic in your school and your life is going to make everything easier. Um, and most importantly, you know, having those characteristics and those aspects and those views, you're going to be able to test easier. You're going to have less weight on you when you're doing your quizzes, your exams. It, and just being a little bit more optimistic, I guarantee that you're going to do better in your grades and your testing. That has really helped me. Um, in the beginning, I was in, you know, these tough relationships where my focus was on them and not so much my score. Once I got past that and, um, you know, really looked at my life, I was able to focus more on my schooling and I started getting better grades. Now, seven years later, I'm married <laughs> with two kids and um, things have gotten easier in some aspects because I've been more optimistic and positive. But, you know, having kids and opening my business has definitely been difficult for me so I just really can't wait to have that weight off my shoulders of you know focusing solely on my business um, and always remember that it's going to be over soon <laughs> it may not seem that way <coughs> but it will be and you won't have to go study again you will be able to relax on the weekend with your friends instead of studying for that statistics exam um, you'll be able to go out to those happy hours and not have to sit home and study. Um, you'll have the time you need for your kids. And most importantly, you will have achieved one of the greatest accomplishments of your life, which is, you know, getting a degree. Um, and that is for yourself more than others. Because I will tell you right now that the career path that has chosen me the only reason I say that it's chosen me is because it came to me. I didn't really, you know, I, I wasn't using my degree and going and applying for jobs with my degree. I found a hobby and I used it to my benefit and I got good at it. And so now my bachelor's has nothing to do with what my business has become. I am very happy to have the accomplishment and I'm super content with, um, you know, finishing my degree or almost finishing. <laughs> so, you know, this advice I wish I would have gotten when I first started. Um, there's so many kids out there that don't know where to start and don't even want to try to apply to a college or try to take those SATs and do good so they can get to good university. And if I can do it while taking care of two kids at home, they're literally sitting on the couch behind me. If I can do that, run my business out of my office and find the time to sit here and study while my kids are on the couch or outside on the trampoline, then you can do it too. Um, good luck. And if you ever have any questions, you guys can write me below on my channel here. Um, and I could probably tag my business channel as well so you can see what kind of work that I do. Um, but thank you so much for listening and have a great day. Thanks.